Hey everybody, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to blend together multiple photos in Photoshop to create a final effect like the one you see here. As you can see, I'm using different blending modes and opacity levels to bring all these different pictures together. So, the first thing you want to do is select a few different photos and open them in Photoshop. I'm going to blend together a sunflower, a woman's face, and this nighttime highway. So, go to File, New and open up a 700 by 700 canvas. Of course you can adjust this but I pretty much just want to work with a square canvas. And then head over to your pictures and select the first picture to drag in. Now remember the first picture is probably going to be the most visible in your final product. So I'm going to use this woman's face. As you can see it's much larger than the canvas so I'm going to move it around and hit command T to bring up the transform options so I can scale it down to a proper size and hold shift while scaling to constrain proportions. Now once you find a size that you like and a positioning you like you can go ahead and pick the second photo to drag onto your picture. I'm going to use this close-up of a sunflower. Again find a positioning and a size that you like and here we can pick a blending mode. Multiply, screen, overlay, soft light, a lot of these work well. So I'm just going to start experimenting here and I'm going to speed it up for you but what you're seeing is a couple minutes of me experimenting with the blending mode and positioning. So after that I've come with a result of soft light and opacity of 78%. But I'm going to go to layer, layer mask and reveal all and grab my brush, a soft brush at a very large size with the color black because I want to mask out some of this area that's covering your face. I just don't like the way that blends. So I'm just going to make a few clicks on the layer mask here and get rid of some of that texture. Uh, you don't have to do that if your photos blend together nicely or if you like the effect that it gives. Third, we're going to add our third picture. I'm going to use this city highway scene and again, what you see is me playing around with the blending mode and positioning until I find something I like. So as you can see, I'm getting closer to what I think looks good. And don't forget to adjust the opacity if you want. I'm going to use something at about 40%. Now if any one layer is standing out too much or you feel like they're clashing too much, a good trick you can do is to apply a Gaussian blur. So select the layer that you want to kind of get out of focus a little bit and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to use a radius of about two or three pixels. That way it just kind of fades to the background and you can focus on the woman a little bit more. Now to bring all these together in one final step we want to add a color effect. If you haven't seen my previous video, I did release a color effects action pack, which I'm going to use here to add some colors. I'll link you to that video below. But once I select an action and I click play on it, it automatically adds it to my layer. So I added a vignette right there. And make sure you drag these layers on top of everything else so that they don't get covered. Next, I'm going to add an action called Soothing, which is just a pale yellow type of color that it adds. It's just a curves adjustment layer, and you could use your own really if you didn't want to use my preset. Next, we're going to go to Layer, New Layer, grab our rectangular marquee tool, and select the whole image, right click, stroke, and adjust these settings to about 10 to 20 pixels, and the color, whatever you like really. Just make sure you stroke inside to create a border. Now once I stroked it I didn't really like the black so what I'm going to do now is use the shortcut command I to invert it to white and then I'm going to go to command T and while holding alt and shift I'm going to drag it out a little bit to make it thinner. You could have just originally made the stroke white or whatever color you like. So as you can see, we went from this picture of a woman's face and blended it together with two other pictures to create this more abstract and unique 
blended image. Uh, this might have looked silly at some points or not too good looking, but I think the final result is pretty cool to look at. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.